Hey everyone, how you doing on this Thursday morning? God is so good. He's awesome. And I, I just have a prayer for R. Kelly. And, and it says, take up my case, O Lord. Declare him not guilty. Father, we know that you give justice. We declare justice over this situation, Lord. We declare victory in court. We know you are in control of all things, including the case, the attorneys, the judges, the prosecutors, we know you are in control, Father God. And so we pray that you have your divine way over the outcome of this trial with Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly. And we thank you on today, Father God, for making provisions, for making a way out of no way, and for doing what you need to do, Father God, always for your people. And I want to say this, Father God, thank you, Father God, for standing and not giving up on your people, Father God, and for your word being infallible, and it cannot err. Thank you all today, Father God. And we lift up Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly in your hands, your divine hands, that you will touch him in a, spot, a mighty, special way, Father God, to continue to lift up his spirits, Father God, that he will not waver in the faith that he has in you, Father God, that he will stand firm on what his beliefs are in being that he believes that he is innocent, Father God. We thank you on today, Father God, for loving us so much and showing your mercy. And we realize, Father God, that sometimes you have to put us in the wilderness. Sometimes you have to put us in the pit, Father God, to do a work, a mighty work in us for us to see what you're trying to do to take care of the enemy. And we realize there's a lot of enemies out there. We realize that your word has been misused and misplaced. And we realize that people are trying to take away what's right and try to turn it wrong and trying to turn wrong into right. We realize that, but we know that that's not how it works in you. And your word continues to reign throughout the world. And you still sit up on that throne. And Father God, we look up to you. And we honor you because you are our father in heaven. And we stand on the protection and the promises of you. And we thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glory to God. He is worthy to be praised in all of the earth. And I encourage everybody to continue the fight, to continue the purpose of what God has placed in your heart. And to don't give up, don't waver, don't be discouraged and to believe what you are asking God for. Because in order to receive it, you have to believe it. And so just keep doing what you're doing. Don't allow the distractions to come up on you because we already know the doubt. It's Satan. And he will use anybody. He'll use anybody. Don't be the next victim that Satan can use. Have a good day, everybody. Peace out.